The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull. Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. half expected your memories to return once you were free of the mind flayer ship but your past is still an aching void if you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon your future will be as blank as your past your head whispers vengeance you cannot wait to slice your way forth seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you ancient corpse since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. This feels like home. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. This branch of flesh is begging to be pruned, and its sap sucked from. My mistress eyelids, stop! Cease, you lose! Ah, ah! As soon as the dreams cross the threshold of your imagination, you snap back to realize they have all come true. Just full of surprises. Aren't you? Joy floods through you. You were dazed on the Nautiloid, but now you are truly awake. Alive. Squirrel might be the single most adorable creature you can recall in all your stunted memory. It would be ever so twee if it were climbing a tree. How heroic. I was wondering if we'd survive encountering such a fearsome beast. You stare at the body before you. You have no idea what just happened. The swirling bile cauldron of your brain is cooking up a poison stew. Stop! This place is off limits! Leave! In a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her, far beneath your talents. Ugh. I won't say anything. Just don't hurt me, please. Shh, I'm concentrating. This look good? Is the coin in the middle? Stop it! Help! Help!
sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Rath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. Maybe not that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Now, Rath. No. Ithias, Tila, to me. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? Bury the remains. Continue the right. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the right. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monsters both, then. Viper to viper. Unless you have news of Arabella, I don't want to hear it. Corker. Corker did... What? No. No! That snake! That... That... Ah! Freshly turned soil shifts beneath your feet as you approach the grave. The shovel and turned soil feels oddly familiar. Within your sick heart, you know, in grave digging, you have quite the body count. You can remember only the mangled orgy of dead flesh you've dug up, but not a single name or face. It's done, Karlak. By my living soul, you will forever burn. You know, I could have used a friend. Pity that won't be you. A faint, acrid smell clings to the corpse, like the memory of a storm. The head comes free with a sickening crunch. Dance upon the stars tonight Smile when pain will fade away Words of mine will change No Become Ugh, It sounded like a cat being strangled God damn it Violence doesn't fix everything, you know Music can help in ways a silly blade can't Besides I'm not doing this for me. This is for the people I... We lost on the way here. It's important. What did you do? My teacher gave me that and she's... She's dead! You bastard! I wanted to write a song for her and you... You ruined it! You ruined everything! Too sweet. Odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within churns. 
She sickens you. How could you break it? I hope, I hope you're ripped apart by gnolls, you beast! Oh, it's you. That would only be the second worst thing you've done to me, you loot-breaking asshole! Oh, this is the last thing I need. Look, you left me in a bad way. I couldn't stay in the grove with the others, just waiting to die. So I left. I don't have the energy for this. I'm going to bed. Don't worry, I'll be gone by first light. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here. But your head pounds and aches. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? If you could craft a corpse like this in one night, what masterpieces have you sculpted in your forgotten decades? You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. A light and delicate girl. It should be no trouble at all to toss her into a ditch. You roll her away, further bloodying your hands as you do. In lumbering style, you have gotten away with murder. When the proud deed of her death was yours, why do you have no recollection of it? Jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! Scleritus fell! Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> My lordly reprobate, I, I missed you ever so. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog mark on the road. By my, we will be reintroducing necrophilia to your schedule in no time. Anyways... I come once again, bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Though I would love to regale you with your past triumphs, I cannot. I am forbidden to interfere. Our betters will not allow it. Be true to yourself, my lord. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? 
Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met. I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. Fresh dissolve with me bare hands. We couldn't pick this, humans. Oh, <laughs> you got him good. And who are you? Another pest. Everyone just barges in here, thinking they rule the world. Ha! Well, not us. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on. Kiss my foot. Or I'll wipe that nasty look right off your face. End him or leave him. But don't you dare grovel to this slug. You kneel before him, eagerly feigning reverence. Good! Yeah, good. But with one quick snatch, you envelop a toe in your foul maw. The toe itself tastes of curd, cave-aged, the thick helpings of rancid gristle. Are you fiend! Ah, I'll teach you some respect! Wait! I, I, I yield! I yield! Since when has yielding been an option? Got the little rodent. Good. We've had enough party games now, I think. Help! Help me! Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. What? Think you could do better? <laughs> Go on then, have at it. Oh, I'd like to see you try. No, please. Face the prisoner. Consider the implements provided. Then... Please, stop! The hell you got? Being soft ain't gonna make him talk! I don't know why, but you are really good at this. You never want this perfect moment to come to an end. The ruins and uh, the bridge. They covered the gate with ivy. Look at him. You got him good. And you yourself. You're a nasty piece of work. 
And we got what we needed. You weren't half bad. Drow will be happy when she hears it. I have been expecting you. The goblins tell me that you forced a confession from our prisoner. Without your help, they would have extracted nothing but screams and blood. Her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. You are a true soul. Little wonder that you serve me so well. It is time for the raid to begin. The grove and those who are hiding there will fall. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. Go to their refuge and make your way inside. As a friend, I will gather a raiding party and move into position. You will open the gates from the inside when the time is right to strike. We will cleanse the place of infidels and burn it to the ground in the Absolute's name. And then we will be the first among her favorites. The masterful painting she depicts of the massacre awakens you hungrily. Control yourself. You are as uncouth as the goblins. The slaughter at the grove will not begin until you have prepared the way. You must make your way inside once I am in position. On your signal, we break them. And when they are dead, the Absolute will reward your faith. As will I. For the Absolute. Gods above, you're alive. A little light, just as the day seems darkest. I'd given you up for dead at the Goblin Camp. I'm damn glad to be wrong. But what happened? We've seen the massing in the woods. Truly. Hells, I didn't expect it. We were almost ready to leave. Well... There's nothing for it now. A fight it will have to be. We threw them back once. If you're with us, perhaps we can do it again. I don't... Oh, God. You've turned on us. Hells, why? Guards, guards, help! into your mind the way is clear now we can cleanse this place completely kill everyone praise the absolute she will reward us well for this exquisite carnage the true honor is to serve the absolute she loves you fiercely i see that in the strength she has given you. And she has so much more to give. There is a bond between us, true soul. I can see what you are. What you want. And you can see what I want. Through her eyes, you see yourself. Skin glistening with sweat. Hands bound. Ecstasy or terror. Maybe both. You feel her breath on your neck, her fingers running down your spine, and then it is over. I will come to your camp tonight. We will celebrate this victory together. As you approach your camp, the walker's celebrations have already begun. The goblins praise the absolute, but their celebrations also honor their leaders. Minthara, and you. You fought well, and so did these creatures, thanks to our leadership. When you tire of their company, come to me. Tonight, you are mine. Your heart skips a beat. What 
treasures might this night bestow. You are here. Good. Come with me. shall 